Greetings, we're back again with another video. Today is April 18th, 2023, and we are back with another McFarlane action figure. Now, I think I told you in a previous video that, you know, McFarlane likes to dib-dab into the anime characters, you know, starting all the way back from, like, Akira, you know what I'm saying? So, when he, when I found out he was releasing the Demon Slayers figures, obviously we needed a brother and a sister, you know what I'm saying? We needed Tanjiro and Nezuko. But what's cool about this Nezuko, she comes, first of all, she comes with a stand. You know, you get your basic McFarlane stand, Demon Slay on it. She comes with two sets of hands, you know. She comes with the effects pieces for each hand. She also comes with two fists, closed and open. So, you know, you get like two little mini hands right here. But, uh, yeah, she came out okay. You know, as far as articulation and everything, I think it came out pretty good. I think as far as all of the other, you know, figures that's come out from other toy lines, I think McFarlane pretty much did a good job as far as the sculpt and the design and everything. You know, all the way down to her shoes, you know, the hair came out pretty good, sculpted very well. Um, you know, she has a little muzzle on her mouth she has the vein sculpts as you can see in her head she has the veins like she's angry you know this piece doesn't come out but overall i like the design of it the articulation she can display her arms up she also has like these slits on her on her dress here so you can actually get a little bit more articulation as far as the legs she has the bended at the knee she has ankle pivot she has a toe hinge right there as you can see right there but um, overall, she has two slits. So she has one over here and one on this side. So that way you can actually get a lot of movement in the legs when, you know, you're displaying this particular character. As far as sculpt does, sculpted very well. Like, he, sculpt he went all out. He sculpted the back. So you got her dress pattern all around, her robe. You know what I mean? But yeah, as far as her hands, she has the clawed hands. So you can actually tell, if you have, like, an accessory box with a bunch of different accessories in there the one thing that you could tell the difference between her hands is she actually has the claws on her hands i don't know if you can see that but her hands are pretty much claws so you'll know exactly which hands are hers to sub to differentiate the two but uh yeah she came out pretty good you know and i also got a brother over here because i couldn't get one without the other but uh as far as the standard, she could be a little bit top heavy just because of the head sculpt itself. I mean, her head could actually move some side to side, you know, so like it really doesn't, her hair doesn't really restrict in a way from actually moving her head side to side. Goes up a little bit, goes down a lot, you know, so you get a very good growling pose. As far as her waist, she has two separate joints in here. I want to show you something. So she has this upper this lower waist right here so you can actually twist it around and then she has another one up here that moves just a little bit it sort of like hinges out a little bit but she can actually get the squats pretty good she you know she can go into the sitting pose very very detailed very articulated character i've seen a lot of other reviews of this particular character from other toy lines but i gotta say as far as being accurate and actually not doing too much damage to the sculpt. You know, Ty McFarlane hates to break the sculpt. But him releasing this particular character, I think he did a good job. Yeah. So, $22, I think it was like $22 at Target. Um, you could probably find it cheaper if there's like ever a sale. But I know this particular character, for some reason, is, very, is coming very hard to find. Because everyone's buying her up. But they're leaving the brother... You know, and um, what's his name? Zenetsu on the pegs. But she's gone. So if you do find her, or if you have a family member or somebody, a friend who probably want to pick her up, I think you should go ahead and just pick her up. Because she's going to probably be the one that's everyone's gunning for. I actually got lucky and saw it in Target while I was looking for the Batman, the McFarlane Batman figures. And I actually saw it sitting on the shelf. I was like, all right, I'll pick one up. Um, as far as, like, customs, like... You know, I'm thinking about making a custom of this. I'm actually thinking about making a more demonic beast form of her. I'm going to see what I work with. 
because she does have ball hinge at the leg joint. So if you have like any other leg sculpts around, you can probably attach those onto it. Actually, you know, give her a more taller look because this particular character does grow in size and she also does shrink in size. Like I got this over here, like this statue, you know, this is her in her mini form and this is her in, you know, her regular standard form. It's about almost the same height as her brother. But, uh, yeah. Looks pretty good, you know. Um, as far as, like, you know... Scaling-wise, this is how she would stand up next to her brother. So, they look pretty good together. I mean, I gotta say, McFarlane did a pretty good job as far as making sure that these characters, you know stand out on your shelf you know a lot of times when certain you know characters are released which is particularly anime they go for a lot of money like you're going to be spending about 100 or 80 dollars for any one of these figures just because of the company you know that's designing it and the import ship shipments but as far as affordability and a lot of demon slayer fans are in the western market which is in america I think this is a good deal. I think you should pick both of them up. Um, I know they're going to release the Wave 2. And he's going to end up having... Um, an, an suke, it was it Enusuke? You know? And one of the big baddies. He looks just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I can't wait for those. So we can just round out the original 14. As far as the other Masters. Hopefully we get to that. I'm pretty sure we will. You know? I want to see um, other characters that were actually in this series there's another character that has the six arms sasamaru you know i would hope that they make her with the six arms because it seems like that's what's in mcfarlane's wheelhouse you know the chick with six arms with those volleyballs i think he could really go all out and actually make her look pretty pretty cool you know what i'm saying but as far as like demon slayer yeah this is my review of the mcfarlane toys demon slayer action figures i don't really see a lot of other people reviewing this i think maybe one or two pictures are on instagram but uh yeah overall i think he did a good job with this character you know she has a she has articulation in her hands you know you can articulate the hands her knees go all the way up you know so you get it in posing positions as far as her fighting and everything and the articulation is is very very well you know it's not too stiff she can actually get a lot of poses and everything if you want to have her kicking or something like that you know what i'm saying but uh yeah this is the nezuko action figure and like i said the articulation is kind of it's funny up in here i'm not going to do it on here but when you, when you get this figure the articulation is something to see because it's a connecting joint that goes from the waist and up to the hip so there's pretty much nothing right in the middle here you know you still have the two ball joints but like I said, if you want to do some customized legs and make her legs bigger to make her look more, you know, gruesome and intimidating like in the anime when she gets really big, you know what I'm saying? I could see people actually doing some customization work with this, especially removing the sleeves. I'm pretty sure heat and hot water, you could probably remove the sleeves and give her some forearms and everything. Give her some, you know, beastly hands to really make her, you know, look like a whole totally different transformation. I mean, aside from doing all that, maybe McFarlane will give us another transformation of her we'll have to wait and see but uh as far as what he's giving us right now is a standard action figure it's affordable if you was on the fence about picking it up I would just say go ahead and pick it up you know and also get Tanjiro too with her brother because her, her brother came out pretty good I'm gonna do a review of this in another video but as far as Nezuko I think she came out pretty cool you know and that wraps up my review of the McFarlane Toys Nez Nezuko Kamado action figure. If you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you did pick up this character, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of uh, the character. Did it come out? Did it fit your expertise? Are the comparisons with all the other figures out there that I don't have, but if you've seen them or if you have them in your collection, does it match up? Does it hold up, you know? to all of the other designs of this particular character. And I'll catch you in another video. Peace.